Second heat features uh, Wang Chingang and Laurent Chardin of France. Laurent Chardin confirmed. In the end, uh, no disqualifications, it seems, uh, and official results are confirmed as Crispin ahead of Gia, ahead of Salim Gediev. So, to the second heat we go. Wang Jingang. Big seed time. The only sub-31 second swimmer this year. Although Crispin's gone 31.01. And Shadow. On his 26th birthday, going in lane five, looking for a place in the final. Tellus and Glock of Brazil among those who's really good over this distance. All out sprint, it's a good start from uh, Matthias de Andrade of Argentina going in one, but the underwater of Wang and Sanchez is impressive. Wang taking himself out in front, wonderful advantage that he's gained using that streamline underwater. Chardin going strong in uh, lane five as well, but it looks to be Sanchez of Spain who is really challenging for that second spot at the moment behind Wang Jingong of China, who's going to touch and under 31 seconds, a 30.81, the fastest time in the world this year. He touches ahead of Sanchez with Chardin of France, third quickest. Wang Jingong, very little challenge and off the starters blocks quickly. Used his underwater so well. Sanchez, 32.45. And there's Wong just taking it right off the blocks. And I agree, he does use his underwater so well, as is typical of, of the Chinese team, especially in this class and in the S5 classification. But really what makes Wong stand out is that he doesn't appear to fade at the end, where sometimes the Chinese swimmers, their legs, they start to give out. What Wong does is he stays strong. The, the question tonight, though, is that Wong, who's going to again have that powerful start, if he can hold off the charge from Crispin Corzo at the end. That is going to be tight. So Wang Jiang ahead of David Sanchez with Laurent Chardin of France third. Melon.